Well, the Seahawks had an unlikely visitor here at the VMAC as world-renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson was in the house. Tyson talked with the team after their morning walkthrough, and the Seahawks were excited to hear what the man with nearly 6 million Twitter followers had to say. So what does astrophysics and football have in common? Well, probably more than you think. There's no greater expression of the laws of physics than what goes on on a football field. <laughs> Spin stabilized projectiles, momentum transfer, acceleration, deceleration, it's all there. Classical physics laid bare <laughs> in America's favorite sport. So um, yeah, it's, that's all I could do is share the fact that they're not playing in a vacuum. There's laws of physics that operate on the field alongside them. The Coriolis forces of Earth that would normally make storms rotate counterclockwise are also at work in a kicked ball in a football stadium. What a great thrill. You know, he's such an extraordinary person and, and, uh, um, and a beautiful guy. He, he just mixed right in with our guys and had some fun with them and had lunch here and hung around, watched some of the practice before he took off. I know he had a big event downtown. Uh, um, but, uh, you know, there's, most everybody knows of him and knows about him and all of that. And then when he, he just jumped in the middle of us and had some fun and told a couple of stories and things. And uh, fascinating, fascinating person. We're very fortunate to have him around. It's just great to see such musculature combined with grace and speed. It's something that you normally don't associate with huge men. And so just to watch this, it's ballet. It's ballet, but in... Helmets and, <laughs> shoulder <pads. laughs> and shoulder pads, but it's, it's nonetheless, you just see the art executed firsthand as the plays are conceived and executed. Gary Gilliam, a self-proclaimed nerd, was one of the many Seahawks excited about the special guest and went to his lecture in downtown Seattle. Yeah, I've actually watched uh, all his episodes of Cosmos a ton, you know, a bunch of his stuff on, uh, on YouTube. You know, I have a huge interest in astronomy and, you know, all the stuff that involves that. So, you know, to be able to meet him, you know, one of the guys that's, you know, really at the top of his field, uh, it, was, it, was, it was an honor. Some of the players say, hey, can I get tickets for tonight? It's actually sold out, but we might, we'll have to, we got to work, some, we got to figure out how to do this. You're going to make some, some exceptions? Yeah, you got to, I've got to figure out a way because there's the home team and, you know, we got to, we'll, we'll, we, we will part the seas to make this happen. <laughs> Last year, Tyson tweeted that the Bengals' game-winning field goal in overtime against the Seahawks was due to the Earth's rotation. So with the game at CenturyLink Field on the horizon, I was curious how the team could use the Earth's force to its advantage. Your home field is oriented exactly north-south. Okay, so a 50-yard kick will deflect nearly a half an inch to the right. Whether you're kicking in one direction or the other, the same effect. So just keep that in mind. And I had a long talk with the kicker who was asking me how should he lay his foot on the ball and when should he spin the ball and when shouldn't he. So I had, I had a private conversation with the kicker about this. So we'll see.